Okay, so typically how I do this is uh, using a couple of different tools. Uh, first of all, a multimeter, and second of all, a couple different colored sharpies. And then basically I just start going through each switch individually. You know, uh, typically I, I do like all the left pins first, and then I go back and do the right pins. And usually these terminate in the the main uh, the, you know the main chips on there. So you know I know this one goes to to this pin. Uh, the next one also goes to this pin, and you can kind of just go row by row, um, you know, all the way through, and just checking with the multimeter, seeing which pin on the chip uh, it goes to. Um, then sometimes you run into cases like on this on this next one I'm going to get to where it doesn't terminate at any of these and you can you can try all of the different chips and and you're not going to get any success and the reason is because it's going through a diode so then you have to also kind of be aware of where the diodes are on the board um, this becomes really difficult if there are diodes in between you know all throughout the matrix um, but luckily this board just has diodes on, uh, I believe, the rows. So here are where the diodes are. So I just check each one of these. And then, so you know that this pin connects to this diode. So then you have to kind of start from the other side of the diode and figure out where it actually terminates on the chip. Um, so here I know these are the corresponding pins and one of these should match up, yeah. Trying to think of other things. Um, so I kind of go through the whole board and do that and then usually a pattern will emerge. So um, for example here you can see all of the, you know, it, it kind of breaks out like these are the, the rows here and then all of these are the columns. Um, so usually it ends up something nicely like that. Sometimes it's just a mix all over the place and you'll have row, column, row, column. And then the work becomes uh, really difficult figuring out which ones are the rows and which ones are the columns. And the same thing goes for the individual switches. Usually uh, the left pin will go to the rows, for example, and the right pin will go to the columns. And it will be consistent throughout the board and you can, that's when the two different colors comes in handy. Uh, unfortunately this board was not set up like that um, so I had to kind of do a little bit of guesswork once I got all the rows and columns figured out um, then I had to kind of play around with it in, in this little Arduino sketch that I have that helps uh, figure those things out and I can go into some detail about that if anybody's interested but um, that, yeah that's basically how I do it 